Hi, today I'm going to be showing how to get Hulu running on your Apple TV 2. Uh, it's a pretty great setup, um, but you're going to need a few things to get started. First of all, you're going to need an Apple TV 2. They're 100 bucks, nearest Apple store, or you can buy them from Apple's website. You're also going to need a micro USB cable. They're 3 to $5 online if you don't have one. Um, you can get them from uh, Monoprice or uh, pretty much anywhere else. Amazon has them. Uh, you might have one already. A lot of cell phones use them. Uh, so basically, go get the Apple TV 2, look at the plug-in on the back, and find if you have a cable that plugs into it. Uh, you also need a Mac for jailbreaking and booting the Apple TV 2, uh, and you will need a PC on your network for running Play On. Uh, this PC should probably be running 24-7, uh, because otherwise you can't be using Play On uh, without it running. Uh, you also need Play On, which is $40 for your first year and $20 a year after that. Um, it's a really great piece of software. I highly recommend it. Uh, works not only on your Apple TV 2, but or works for providing Hulu not only to your Apple TV 2, uh, but also provides a number of other services uh, to pretty much anything you can think of. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, iPhone, iPad, pretty much the works. Um, you also need uh, Xbox Media Center for iOS, which is free, um, and you'll need a little bit of fam familiarity with the Unix command line um, because you're going to have to go in and do stuff with that. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'll show you most of what you need to see here, uh, aside from how to, get e how to get SSH working with your Apple TV too, uh, but there's a lot out there on how to do that once you've got uh, your Apple TV 2 jailbroken. So to start, you'll need to pick up Play On. Um, you can get a 14-day trial. Uh, it provides Netflix, Hulu, CBS, YouTube, pretty much anything you can think of to pretty much any device you can think of. Um, even works with some TVs. Uh, it basically provides a UPnP-friendly stream of all these different services uh, so that any device that recognizes UPnP video uh, will work with any of those streams. So that's pretty cool. Uh, gives you the ability to do Hulu and pretty much anything else uh, on almost any device that handles streaming network video. Uh, so once you, down, once you buy that, you'll need to install it, uh, get on your PC, and make sure everything's working. It's Pretty simple, like I said, to get it installed. Uh, and once you've got it installed and running, you can basically forget about it. Uh, then, next thing you need to do is jailbreak your Apple TV 2. Um, this is also extremely easy using something called Season Pass. Uh, I'll provide a link in the notes. Um, if you're running the latest firmware with Apple TV 2, uh, which I am, it becomes a tethered jailbreak. This means that in order to boot your Apple TV 2 after it's jailbroken, you will need to have your Mac there and you'll need to plug it in. It's kind of a pain in the butt, um, but you don't really need to boot your Apple TV 2 very often. Uh, the only times you'll need to boot it are when it loses power, either due to a power failure or if you unplug it or something like that. Um, when you just walk away from it and turn your TV off, it doesn't need to be booted. So you really only need to do it maybe once every few weeks, once every month. Um, kind of depends on how much you play with it. Um, as they say, you need a micro USB cable. They provide a link on where to get one. I think the current price on it is like six bucks. Yeah, it's about five or six bucks. You can get them for cheaper um, if you look around. So that's you know that's pretty simple. Um, there's no Windows version of Season Pass right now, which is kind of that's kind of annoying it, because it means you need both a Mac and a Windows PC to make this whole thing work. Uh, but they say there's one coming soon. Uh, they provide really great instructions here on how to get uh, the jailbreak completed. One thing that I should note is here on step four, uh, it talks about leaving the power disconnected. Um, so you can't just follow the pretty pictures the whole time. You need to actually pay attention to that step four. Uh, that one gave me some trouble. 
uh, because I had the power plugged in and I couldn't get it booted into DFU mode. Um, so go ahead and get that jailbreak taken care of and then there's a number of instructions out there on how to get SSH working on your Apple TV 2. Uh, once you have that done, you just need to SSH into your Apple TV. You can learn to type it. Um, and when you're in there, you'll need to get the Xbox Media Center port for iOS installed. Now, there's a way to do it using apt-get. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's great instructions out there on the Xbox Media Center forums. Uh, one easier way that I've found to do it is to install the latest development build uh, provided by Meshuga here. Um, it's actually even a little bit easier than using apt-get to install it uh, because you don't have to worry about adding a repository or anything. You just get a deb package. Um, so there's lots of scary stuff up here about how this is for command. This is not for the non-command line friendly and blah, blah, blah. I think he just doesn't want to field a lot of questions about it. Um, once you are SSH'd in, it's really very simple. All you have to do is go into a temporary directory. He uses private slash var slash temp, which is fine. Um, and then you go use wget to get the URL below. Um, you want the latest Apple TV 2 build. Um, so copy the address for that. Paste it in there. It'll grab it. It just takes a couple seconds to download um, if you have a pretty good connection. We'll wait for it to do that here. Now, once it's done downloading, all you need to do is type in dpkg-i uh, and then the name of the file, org, xbmc. In this case, we're using the 129.11 build and run that. I actually have Xbox Media Center already installed, so I'm going to skip that, but it, boot, it puts it in there. Uh, makes everything work real well and the only thing you have to do after that is go set things up inside Xbox Media Center. So I'm going to go grab my camera and go do that. So once you get Xbox Media Center installed um, it should show up as a new item on your main menu on your Apple TV too. Uh, you just pop right in there and you get a normal Xbox Media Center installation. Uh, if you already have Xbox Media Center installed on something else, like a computer or an Xbox or something like that, uh, you can go ahead and follow these steps along with getting Play On installed uh, to get Hulu working on those. So once we're in there, we're going to go into Videos, and we're going to add a source, and browse. Play on shows up as a UPMP device. And there it is. Go to play on. Hit OK. Hit OK again. There's no scraper for this, so hit OK. Uh, we don't care about that. Now we've got this play on entry in our videos directory. So we jump into that, and here's all the different services that play on offers, including Netflix, MTV, MLB, Fox News, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, ESPN3, CNN, if you're into that sort of thing, um, CBS, Comedy Central, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, but what we're interested in is Hulu. Uh, and you'll see they've got most of the kind of listings you'd expect from the Hulu homepage. Uh, we'll jump into, let's do popular. Um, go into popular shows. Uh, we'll do some Alaska State Troopers here. 
go into seasons, season two. And pull this up. It does take just a second to load, uh, but it's not that bad. Um, and the playback quality is pretty good. It's not HD, uh, but it's very smooth, no jitters or anything. Very, very watchable. Uh, as you can see, here we go. We're going to get a little video or a little ad at the beginning. Um, it gives you an idea of what the quality is like and uh, how smooth the playback is. Um, it doesn't actually run in slow motion. That's just the ad being in slow motion. So, there you go. Hopefully that works out for you. Uh, as I said, there's going to be a bunch of links in the uh, notes and uh, also some simple instructions on how to get this done. Hope that works out and enjoy.